I'm standing in front of a sculpture by an artist called David Nash. We like his work very much, and so he made this three pieces of charred oak from two fallen trees down in Sussex. When he installed it, he explained to us that it wasn't of anything, it was just an object. That explanation, I think, makes it easier to, because abstract sculpture is sometimes a bit daunting to look at, but there is no message. It's not of anything. It's just for there, for, for all of us to enjoy. Um, I understand some of you uh, went to see parts of the Chatsworth collection. Yes. Uh, was this last week? Yes. Yeah. The Armchair Gallery is one strand of the Imagine programme, a three-year project administered by City Arts and Nottingham City Council. It aims to improve the lives of older people by giving them virtual access to world-class art collections. Uh, from the film we heard that David Nash said it's not meant to be of anything but more of a feeling. We could have a think about what it makes you think of. A mother and a child. Each of the short armchair gallery films are being used in different ways, depending on the skills of the artist leading the session and the needs of the people taking part. The artist, Sam Metz, explains her particular approach to an abstract sculpture by David Nash, located in the grounds of Chatsworth House in Derbyshire. So when we worked with uh, Nash's sculptures, um, as you described them, these huge monoliths, um, but his work, um, he, he kind of generates his sculptures from working with living trees and quite a violent process, so charring or carving into a living organic form. Um, and I wanted um, throughout the workshop to be kind of sensory triggers that would bring us back to this organic form and how so it's changed. And um, this one, what did you think? What did it smell of? Soap. It is soap, yeah. Oh, yeah. It is soap. Is it life boy? No, it isn't. Um, can you smell anything other than the soap in it? Is it's quite a, it's a really strong smell, I think. I can't tell what it is. Oh, is it cold to? Yes, it is, yeah, yeah. So whether that was through touching wood or just the smell of tar, so this idea of violence and that dramatic technique that's used. Interesting. That's the smell. Jean, have a smell of this for me. Can you smell it? What does it make you think of? Sage. Sage. So what are some of the problems of taking art workshops into a care home setting? People sometimes see creative work and artists as doing quite risky things. So don't know about, you know, people don't understand the work, don't understand what they're being invited to do haven't tasted it, haven't experienced it, don't know what it is, so I'm frightened of it. You know, what, what are we going to get from that? You know, if you're bringing medicine through the door and everybody can understand why people need medicine in bottles, much harder for people to grasp of why would you bring an artist through the door. And that made you think back there of um, tar in the road, which is really good because that makes me think of smoke. Uh, the poem was Fire and Ice. It's just really great how much discussion em emerged from talking about the poem. Some say the world will end in fire, some say in ice. From what I've tasted of desire, I hold with those who favour fire. I think to be able to talk about a poem and the meaning held within poem alongside an artwork is just fascinating. It gives someone more time to spend with the painting or the sculpture, I think. Twice. I think I know enough of it to say that for destruction, ice is also great and would suffice. Wonderful, thank you. What's it about then? What's going on in it? I think the people that are most receptive to this work um, are, are the people with imaginations and I've got to say, often people don't know they have them. Um, they, they don't know that they have them. 
So, and this work accesses that, that part of people. Can I borrow your pencil and you finish with it? Oh yes, of course. Lovely. Thank you. <laughs> if you roll right up to my finger. To create a monoprint, you ink up the glass plate. The ink's quite sticky, so that when you place a sheet of paper on top um, and kind of draw your image, it um, is very good because it picks up your gesture. It allows people who perhaps don't feel they have the dexterity or don't feel comfortable with the process of drawing to still engage in mark making, create some interesting prints. That's it, that's it. Don't press on the paper. Just draw your design. I'm just going to move you this way. Thank you. Because it's such a quick process as well, people who perhaps haven't got confidence initially will become intrigued by the process and want to engage in doing more. I'm going to peel it up and see what we've got underneath. So shall we peel that corner up? Board scene. Very interesting. Same way, or do you want it to peel away this time? But um, I drew it back to the real kind of textural qualities and thinking about what the David Nash sculpture would feel like, how it, you know, it could feel and how we could translate that into print. Oh, well done, board. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, Just lay it down gently over the top. tile. On top of that. Yeah, don't, like, yeah. press it down. Yeah. Right. Okay. Who said you can't see? Really great. Yeah, right, very so good. this is our pencil. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah, we're going to paper the wall with them. This remarkable sculpture is the Veiled Vestal Virgin, made by the Italian sculptor Raphael Monti. The David Nash sculpture is the subject of only one of nearly 50 short films commissioned by the Imagine programme, collectively known as the Armchair Gallery. These films have created a virtual grand tour of the art collections of Chatsworth House in Derbyshire and the Dulwich Picture Gallery in South London. Historic paintings around us that tell the story of the gallery. There are plans to develop a new app and together with an established programme of iPad training, it's hoped that through the armchair gallery, even more older people in care will have access to some of the best art collections in the country. There's little doubt that the Imagine programme has already had a significant effect, and not just on its recipients. That's another really beautiful thing about this work. I think that the word patient drops away when you do this work, the word volunteer drops away, the word staff member drops away. You're in a different space. That's absolutely key. You know, that's, that's, that's a bit of what I witness happening. If we were to give this a name for all the artworks, what would we call it? Chat with abstracts. Oh, lovely. I like that one. It's a beautiful work today. So next time we come in a different artwork, but really thank you so much for today. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you.